This is Ms. Moreno. Welcome to Module 2, Lesson 4 from Eureka Math. Today's goal, I will use models to divide fraction by fractions with different denominators. So I'm going to go ahead and jump to example 2 because that's the first example with different denominators. Molly's friend Xavier also has 11 8 cups of strawberries. He needs 3 4th cup of strawberries to make a batch of tarts. How many batches can he make? Draw a model to support your solution. So with the information provided, I know that I will be dividing 11 eighths by 3 fourths, and I need to know how many batches can he make. So I'm going to start by writing the equation 11 eighths divided by 3 fourths. So as you can tell, I have different denominators. I need to find common or like denominators, and to do that, I need to find the lowest common multiple of 8 and 4, and the lowest common multiple of 8 and 4 is 8. So as you can see, I need to uh, find an equivalent fraction to 3 fourths that has 8 as a denominator, and an equivalent fraction to 3 fourths is 6 eighths. So I'm going to go ahead and write my new equation, 11 eighths divided by 6 eighths. Now if you're wondering, how did I get a 6 eighths? I know that my denominator must be 8, and to do that, I multiply 4 times 2. And if you recall, um, what you do to the bottom, you do to the top. So, if I multiply 4 times 2, I need to multiply 3 times 2, and that gives me 6, and that is how I got 6 eighths. So next, I'm going to work with the fraction 11 eighths, and 11 eighths is an improper fraction. I prefer to use a number line when I'm working with improper fractions. So here's my number line. And I'm going to go up by eighths from zero all the way up to 11 eighths. Now, I need to ask myself, how many six eighths are in 11 eighths? So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's one group. One, two, three, four, five. But I only have 5. I have 5 out of 6, so that's exactly what I'm going to write. 5, 6. So I know that Javier has enough to make 1 in 5, 6 batches. Now moving on to example 4. I have 3 fourths divided by 2 thirds. And again, I need common denominators. The lowest common multiple of 4 and 3 is 12. So now I need to ask myself, 4 times what number gives me 12? Um, and that will give me the numerator. Well, 4 times 3 is 12. And so now I need to multiply 3 times 3. And that gives me 9. And the same. 3 times what number gives me 12? Well, I know that 3 times 4 is 12. So to get the numerator, I need to do 2 times 4. And 2 times 4 is 8. So I am working with 9 twelves divided by 8 twelves. So I'm going to start by doing a fraction bar and partitioning it into 12 equal parts. And I need to shade in 9 twelves. So here is my 9 twelves, and I need to label the 9 twelves. And each unit has a value of 1 twelve, right? So I need to label 8 of them. So here is 1, let me make that a little bigger. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's 8 12. So I'm going to go ahead and group it. That's 8 12. That's one group of 8 12. But the problem is I only have one left. One out of 8. And that's exactly what I'm going to write. So I can conclude the 9 12 divided by 8 12 is 1 and 1 eighth. I'm going to show you the exact same problem with a number line. 
So here we go, 912 divided by 812. And I'm going to go ahead and draw the number line. And again, partition it. Um, we're going to go all the way to nine twelves. And then I need to see how many eight twelves I can make. So right here, that's one group, right? I know that was fast. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is one group. And I only have one left out of eight. So that's one eighth. So my final answer is one and one eighth.